here are pheasants at day one home from the hatchery. This is 44 pheasants. Alright, well, while I have these pheasants so young, I guess I may as well do a little, uh, little tutorial on raising young pheasant. As soon as uh, you get them back from the hatchery, you're going to want to put them in a paper-lined box. This could just be a cardboard box with some newspaper or something on the bottom. You want to hang a light above the pheasant. I'm using, I believe, a 75-watt bulb, and you want to adjust the height until they are comfortable underneath it, but it's not so close that they are uh, they are avoiding the spot of the light. If it's uh, if they're avoiding that spot, then it is too close and it's too warm for them. If you have a, a um, thermometer, it is uh, right around 100 degrees, a little less than 100 degrees. You want uh, to have um, for the pheasant. Now, when they are uh, very young, a little bit younger than this actually, you want to put rocks into their waterer, which you can see down in there, and that will help prevent the pheasant from falling in and uh, drowning themselves. At this age, this is about three, three days old I would guess, um, but I just got them from the factory today. At this age, you don't really need those rocks in there, but I've put them in there just as a precaution. Now to feed these birds initially, you can see I have sprinkled some seed down. Um, that is uh, starter mix. Ideally you want game bird starter for pheasant. You don't want traditional uh, poultry starter because that is um, mostly meant for egg laying birds and uh, the medication is not good for wild birds such as pheasant. Now what I have here is uh, not actually a game bird starter. What this is is starter meant for turkeys and it doesn't contain the, uh, medica the medications that would harm pheasant that are in uh, egg laying bird starter. So you can use either turkey starter or you can use game bird starter. Either way that is uh, all you need to do to feed your birds at this age.